Well, hello, out here with George. Where's he at? There he is back there. So we're gonna get some walls up. It's uh, Saturday about two o'clock. Uh, we got about four more hours to try to get the rest of the walls up before he has to head for home again. And after that, I'm kind of on my own. So we'll see you in a bit. Well, hello. George just left on his way home. Gotta tell you, what a big help, what a great friend. Uh, worked his butt off today. It's uh, about 10 after 6. I'll show you what we got done. Got a corner back there that's gonna need some plywood, but I gotta uh, trim it up to fit. So, there it is from the inside. I still got uh, some more um, screws to put in, you know, to hold this plywood in place. So just got it tacked in with a couple nails right now. So I got to run around the outside and get it all secured. But there's a little better look at it. I got the front brace, so when I make the wall for the front, I got something to lean it up against to because uh, I got no one to really help me with it. So I'll be down here by myself for the next few days. Got plenty of propane though this time to keep warm. Made sure of that. And I'm going to have to uh, make some stairs obviously. But uh, yeah, I've got, uh, you know, it's a little under four feet or yeah, a little less than four feet, you know, on them corners to fill that gap. So I don't know, three feet, four inches, three feet, eight inches, something, somewhere's in that neighborhood. So... Got the hardest part done though, and this would have took me probably two, three days by myself. So, I gotta go down, pack all my stuff up to my tent, you know, get ready to spend the night. Get something to eat, put a bunch of this stuff away, get some uh, screws and the drills out if I still got enough light left. But uh, it'll be getting dark here in about an hour. So, I just gotta... Uh, Turn this off and uh, get back to work. I got about an hour of light left, so I will talk to you tomorrow. Well, good afternoon. It's uh, about 10 after 12. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having kind of a rough day. 
Uh, my batteries are all drained out. I'm not getting any sun because all the smoke from the forest fires. Oregon doesn't want to manage your forest well, so anytime there's a forest fire down there, it's like twice as bad as anywhere else. So from Washington, Oregon, all their smoke's blowing our way. I'm not getting much sun to charge my batteries. I got uh, about halfway cut through that plywood, and uh, of course, battery dies. But I've got... Uh, most of my three walls up if I can get a little more charged to uh, cut that plywood the rest of the way then I'll get that other corner there starting to frame off my uh, front wall having to use the hand saw and I'll tell you I like DeWalt products but uh, these saw horses suck they wobble all over the the tops pivot and just uh, really not happy with them but yeah it's just kind of one of them days so I'm going to get as much done as I can. I forgot to grab a few extra sheets of plywood so I can get this uh, front wall framed in. I'll probably just uh, bring, I only need about three sheets, but uh, I got to uh, get another hammer. Got a nice uh, framing hammer, but uh, it's got a steel uh, handle on it. And it's just uh, sending shock waves all up my arm and just killing my elbow. So I'm going to. See if George wants it. He's a pretty husky guy, and uh, I don't think it bothers him any. He was using it quite a bit yesterday. And uh, George, if you're watching, uh, thanks again for all the help. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, other people said they got to come out here and help me, but, you know, they just stay home, find excuses. To, no, I can't go down there. You know, so the way it goes. But, you know, eventually I'll get it done, get these walls up, and then I got to start uh, thinking about, you know, the roof. So I might come to it, you know, I'll just get the uh, trusses up and uh, lay some plywood down on it. And uh, might have to just cover it with a few tarps for the get me through the winter. Not sure yet. But, you know, then I got to deal with the stovepipe coming out. So been thinking about, you know, either running the stovepipe out of the wall and then, you know, little elbows and go up with it or, uh, you know, out the roof and... If I can get the house sold, then I can get the metal I need for the roof, and I, then I'll, you know, go out the roof with the stovepipe. But otherwise, I'll probably just go out the side wall, use some elbows, because uh, I don't know, kind of, you know, gotta really work to uh, seal things around that hole I put in the roof. And you know, you get a stove jack and put up on top of there, but uh, still, you know, it's uh, a lot of work to work around that hole, get it sealed up good. So just kind of where I'm at today, uh, looks like I'm going to have to, you know, hand cut most of these 2 by 4s I've got to frame in that window. And with these wobbly uh, sawhorses, they're plastic for the most part. And uh, I've already uh, busted one of the little keeper pins out of it, laid some plywood on it the other day, and it fell over and, uh, you know, a few pieces popped off. These... Uh, things here where they fold you know you can see right here where it's popped out I gotta you know bust it off the keeper part of it so anyway uh, you know they're just uh, not really well built so like I said I'm you know, real happy with all the other DeWalt products I've gotten I use uh, some rigid stuff too but uh, I don't know just one of them days so I'm going to shut this off and uh, get back to work and uh, keep working on this wall here. I got a little uh, two foot by three foot uh, window I'm going to put in the front and then I've also got the door. So I've got to, uh, you know, uh, kind of do like double header and stuff over the window. So I got support for uh, the roof. And so, you know, that's going to be a lot of cutting with the handsaw. And I didn't bring a uh, ripping saw, which is something I need. I've, I've got like a fine tooth, you know, fine cut saw. So it takes twice as long to cut through anything. So I got a lot of respect for the old guys, you know, that uh, used to do this without any power tools. It was a lot of work. But, you know, I think they had, you know, twice as many people working on a house too back then. But, uh, you know, do it yourself. Uh, it's a challenge. So... I'll talk to you later, see where I'm at. Um, probably, like I say, I'm going to probably head home later this evening, regroup. i got to get my batteries charged up, and I've, right now I've got no way to do it out here. So uh, go home, charge your batteries, uh, 
get a different hammer with a wooden handle on it get a few sheets of plywood come back down try to get this uh, front wall finished up and you know then just kind of deal with my uh, roof I've got some uh, wood sealer I want to pour down over this floor here because it, it might rain later in the week and kind of want to protect it best I can so it's kind of where I'm at so talk to you later well it's 10 after 1 I got all my plywood up I'm getting just enough sun to get a little bit of a charge in these batteries but I'm gonna have to go home later get these uh, batteries on a regular charger get them all charged up and uh, just come back tomorrow I was hoping to you know get a lot more done uh, before I did have to go home but you know it's just the way things are out here out in the middle of nowhere I can't plug uh, you know the saw into a tree so I don't want to bring my generator down yet until I'm actually staying down here so I'm uh, kind of got some little temporary steps going there in the corner I'm getting ready to uh, frame up this uh, front wall I'm just gonna put a few studs in there for now and uh, <clears throat> I gotta look out Sonia go up steps go up here come on go up this way come on up here this way and my dog can't quick figure out my steps maybe she sees me do it a few times she'll figure it out she's trying to jump over here and couldn't quite make it so but yeah I've got to uh, get a few studs in figure out uh, I gotta go measure my door figure out exactly you know where I'm gonna put it at so I don't want to come all the way across with studs and have to you know cut into them and deal with all that so I kind of want to build as I go so I don't know got to kind of go stop here in just a few minutes and uh, you know probably pack up head for home come back down first thing in the morning and uh, get back at it so but yeah I've got uh, all my plywoods up I've uh, still got a lot of more nails to run into it all and you know I keep talking about George being a nice guy and I've only known him for a couple of months and uh, he's probably been a better friend so far than people I've known for years and we uh, we're gonna stop at a thrift store on the way down here so I can pick up a tool belt and uh, the website said they open at uh, 8 and we got down there at 8 30 and uh, sign on the door because of this COVID uh, they didn't open until 10 so he's out oh, let's just go to Home Depot I'll buy you one we had to go up there and get wood anyway so look what he bought me see if I can get this on camera here but yeah really nice uh, really nice tool belt so yeah generous you know just can't really say enough nice things about him so this is kind of where I'm at right now. I'll uh, get home and, uh, like I said, I'm going to put a few studs into this wall, get it started. Go home, regroup. Going to leave a few things here so I don't have to, you know, pack everything up. So far, everybody's been leaving my stuff alone, but, you know, I'm still going to pack my saws back and forth. You know, more of the things that are just too hard to replace you know I'm not gonna leave them down here but I got a bag of clothes and stuff up there in the tent I'm gonna leave that here and you know always leave my heater and propane tank and stuff so but for the most part though I'm gonna pack a lot of things up take it home with me drag it back down here again so once I'm living here you know it'll be a little different I'll just you know bring more things down and hopefully I can uh, get enough stuff down here to where I can uh, consolidate uh, things in my storage lockers. Right now I'm renting two of them. And I'd kind of like to get everything into one so I can cut that cost in half. So hopefully I get home. Maybe there'll be some good news on the house. Maybe there'll be some offers. One guy, well, my battery's about dying, so I don't have the other one charged up. So I'll talk to you later.